Ladies and gentlemen, Tito out here, back again with another hammock review. Now you guys that have watched this channel for a little while know that I love the One Wind hammock system. This is probably the best suspension system along with the best hammock that I've found for the price. I use this little single one in my get home bag and I've absolutely loved it since the day I had it. This is 11 foot long by like five foot wide, comes with its own ridge line, comes with the best suspension system I've ever used, easy to set up, easy to break down, and it's not that expensive. So yeah, I love this one. Now the only complaint that I have with the One Wind single nest hammock is that it's not wide enough for me to enjoy completely. I've slept in it for a couple of nights and just the way that I sleep and the way that I toss and turn, I can't stretch out as much as I'd like to. That is why I have in this hand the One Wind double nest hammock. It's not that much extra fabric. So how did this happen, right? How did it get that much bigger? That is because for the One Wind double nest hammock, there's an extra bonus inside of here. Now about two weeks ago, I reviewed the East Hills hammock and I said, you know, for the price and for what it comes with, it's not bad at all. But I'm not giving up my One Wind series of hammocks. And that's just because I enjoy them far too much. So let's get this thing set up and I will talk about what it comes with and the features and do a first lay and all that good stuff. Let's go. real world, it took 2 minutes and 30 seconds to set up this hammock. Again, the best suspension system I have ever used. Two weeks ago, I did the East Hills hammock, reviewed it, and it only had 15 loops that you could go in. With this, this is virtually infinite on how many spots that I can have to hang my hammock. And these cords are, what, 12 foot long? And so even if the space is further wide than this, I have plenty of room where I can set my hammock up. So again, because of the ridge line, I do have this nice bounce and sway in my hammock, which is nice because that's what you want. You don't want it very taut because if you do, you're not going to sleep worth a damn. The ridge line helps that out. Ridge line comes free. Again, you get this little mesh bag holder. It has four little pockets. One, two, three, four. You know, put a cell phone, put a spare mag, put whatever in there. You get this little lantern hanger. You can hang a couple of little items on here. Another thing you'll find on the One Wind hammock is these right here, which are under quilt hooks. So your most under quilts come with some sort of hooking system, or you know you can run some paracord and, and hang your under quilt. So I actually have a under quilt that I'm not gonna pull out today, but whenever I use the hammock the next time, I might pull the under quilt out and actually show off and show off how to use these and see how well it does because this is a very thin hammock. I brought it off the ground a little bit. I still got enough bounce. I'm gonna lay my head on this side. So, sit in it. Make sure it'll hold you. And look how much extra space I have to spread out. My feet are, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half from that end. My hand, I can't even reach this end. That's how big this hammock is. Again, I'm six foot tall, I'm wearing boots. So I'm six, six, two, something like that. Um, yeah, and then as far as width goes, my arms are spread out and that's as far as they go. Once again, you wanna lay asymmetrically in a hammock. So. My feet are at this corner. My head would be at this corner right here. I know you can't see me because I can't see you. But I've 
out of the iron completely flat. This ridge line right here makes all the difference. Now, one of the problems that I faced with two weeks ago, the East Hills hammock, was that I could not get that asymmetrical lay. I could lay in it and be comfortable enough to spend a couple of hours in it, but nothing as near as this one wind hammock. Again, that's because it's 11 foot tall, six foot tall. That gives me plenty of room to spread out. It's almost six foot wide, if not six foot wide. The ridge line makes the biggest difference in the world. Being able to infinitely adjust my suspension makes all the difference in the world. And yes, I am affiliated with One Win Hammock, and so yes, I do get a small little commission if you buy one. But guys, I've only been affiliated with them for the last like couple of weeks. So when I bought my single nest, I wasn't affiliated. When I did the review of the single nest, I wasn't affiliated. I'm just now affiliated with them, and I still paid this with my own money. So if you want a cheap hammock, buy the one that I talked about two weeks ago. If you want a good hammock, buy this one. So what else is in this package, right? The package still has that much stuff left in it. What's in here? Two weeks ago, I said a bug net was a good thing to have. And that is because, you know, of course, skeeters can cause all sorts of kinds of diseases, Zika virus, Ebola, whatever you want to call it. Um, you don't want to be getting nipped on all night. It can also be used as a fishing net. The East Hills hammock, I wasn't necessarily a fan of the bug net just because of the way it was. This one is a little bit different. So let me get it set up and uh, I'll show you what it is. So if you guys remember two weeks ago when I talked about the East Hills hammock, um, you know, I wasn't necessarily a fan of their bug net design. That's because it enclosed on the bottom. And so it had a zipper right here that you got in and out of your hammock with. I wasn't a fan of that. This one, on the other hand, is singes closed on both ends. You got another singe down here, and you have a singe down here. And so this one, I can get in and I can stand up. And my feet are touching the floor as I messing around with my hammock. Hopefully you guys can see me. I don't know how it looks on video. Hopefully not bad. You get in the hammock. You kick your feet up. It's a lot easier if you're not wearing boots, by the way. And you're flexible. All right, this hammock is far enough. This hammock's wide enough that I didn't fall out reach down here at the bottom. It has another singe where you can singe it close. So now I can lay as flat as I want to, like I would if I was sleeping, right? And now my ridge line is taking care of the bug net, so I don't have to set up a secondary ridge line. And I'm 100% protected. When it's time to get out, you find the singe down at the bottom. You loosen it, and then you can easily step out. Again, a little bit more difficult because I do have boots on. And now I'm out. So during the day, if you wanted to close it up or if you stepped out to use a bathroom or whatever, you have two singes, one on each side. Simply just singe it back up. Now you have a mosquito-free hammock that you can get in at any point in time. So again, super simple, super easy to use. A bug net is easier to set up while you're setting up your hammock instead of me like setting up the hammock fully and then running the bug net. But again, it took like 30, 35 seconds for me to scoop one end in and run it the entire length, tie off that end, tie off this end, and it was good to go. So again, this bug net is 100% removable. So right now it is winter time here in South Carolina, so I don't necessarily need a bug net. And this bug net would take off a couple of extra pounds. Again, if you don't wanna carry the bug net, you don't have to. So let me break this down and go over the final details.
So, real world breakdown time of under five minutes. I know I time lapsed it, but under five minutes, bug net and hammock both along with the straps. The straps took me the longest, but all compact. The only thing you have is two strings hanging on it. Again, all in one. You got your bug net, you got your hammock, you got your ridge line. You have your best suspension system ever, the infinite suspension system. You have the little lantern holder. You have the little four pocket organizer on the ridge line. What more can you ask for? It's 11 foot long by six foot wide. I don't know how much more better a hammock can get. If you tried to get the same lay as you do in this hammock in an Eno, in a Grand Trunks, in an East Hills, yeah, that's that's just not gonna happen. Again, I 100% support One Wind, at least on their hammock series. They might be sending me some extra stuff and I'll let you guys know how well that does. Their single nest is pretty freaking awesome. I love it, it's in my get home bag. You've got the ridge line, you have the 11 to 12 foot long straps. You've got everything you need for an overnight stay. The double nest with the included a bug net is even better. Again, it adds that extra foot. Again, it adds that bug net, which can be a survival tool in a bad situation. Like I said, I am affiliated with One Win Hammock. Now, what does that mean for you guys? That means I do get a small commission kickback if you buy through my links. But on top of that, it means that I have a promo code that can save you guys some money if you buy through my links. So not only do I get a kickback, but you get a kickback as well. I think it's like five to 10% off. But again, hey, we're all saving money. That's great. So one win hammock. This is the double nest with the bug net. Again, you don't have to get the bug net. If you do get the bug net, you don't necessarily have to carry it all the time. The only cons that I can think of with both of these hammocks is they are slightly heavier than the Outdoor Vitals ultralight, super ultralight hammock. But they're still lighter weight than an Eno. They're still lighter weight than a Grand Trunks. They're still lighter weight than most hammocks out there. So again, one win hammock, go check them out. Best suspension system I've ever used. And they're not that expensive. All right guys, that's all I got for today's video. Again, one win. My link will be in the description below. Go check it out. Go save some money. That's all I got for today. T2F.